Welcome to this tutorial on how to use MQTT in the ThingStack. In this video, we'll show you how to use MQTT to communicate with the ThingStack with practical examples to get you started. First, let's discuss really quickly why you would want to use MQTT with the ThingStack. MQTT is a light publish subscribe protocol really common in IoT for machine to machine communication. Here's a few reasons why you might want to use MQTT with the ThingStack. One, you don't have a publicly accessible application server. MQTT allows your application to query the ThingStack for data. The ThingStack can publish data to MQTT topics and your downstream application can subscribe without needing a public IP address. This is in contrast to webhooks in which the ThingStack pushes data to your downstream application server, in which case you would need a public IP. Two, real-time data. MQTT is designed for real-time data transmission. This makes it good for applications like asset tracking, smart cities, and environmental monitoring. Three, integration with other systems. MQTT is a really widely supported protocol with a big ecosystem of libraries. This makes it easy to use with embedded hardware, cloud platforms, and more. Four, reduced power and bandwidth. MQTT's lightweight protocol reduces the amount of data that's transferred. In the ThingStack, an MQTT endpoint is automatically exposed for every application. Let's take a look at this existing endpoint and see how to send and receive data from it. In the ThingStack, go to Applications. Choose the application you want to access. In the Application Dashboard, click Integrations and choose MQTT. Here, you can see the MQTT server, topic, username, and you can generate an API key as a password. We'll wait to generate the API key. Now, let's receive and process data. We'll set up Postman to connect our MQTT server and view messages that come in as uplinks. In the documentation, there are instructions for accessing the MQTT server and a list of topics to subscribe and publish to. We'll follow these instructions in Postman. First, change the version to 3.1.1. Enter the URL of the ThingStack MQTT endpoint. Go to Authorization and choose Basic Auth. Copy the username and then generate and copy the API key as the password. Press Connect and you should see that you are now connected to the broker. Now let's subscribe to a topic. We'll look for uplinks at the uplink topic, which is v3 slash your application ID at your tenant ID slash devices slash your device ID slash up. Let's go ahead and subscribe to this topic. Now, when our device sends an uplink, we'll receive the message. Here, you can see the message that came in as an uplink on this topic. We can also schedule a downlink at the down slash push topic. First, I'll add the topic. v3 slash application ID at your tenant ID slash devices slash your device ID slash down slash push. It doesn't matter if you subscribe to this one or not. Go to the message tab. We'll send the following message in order to schedule a downlink. We're scheduling a downlink on F port one and in order to send hex zero one, we use the following value, which is converted to base 64. AQ equals equals is hex zero one. I'll hit send. And now in the console, I can see that downlink with the payload of 01 has been scheduled. Congrats! You've learned how to set up an MQTT integration in the ThingStack and seen practical examples of receiving and sending data. Now, you can unlock the full potential of your IoT projects using MQTT with the ThingStack. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out.